It's been about three weeks now since we posted our last video and we wanted to make sure that you realize that uh, we haven't dropped completely off the radar. Uh, it's basically that our uh, slower travel has turned into no travel since uh, we bought this new house in uh, East Tennessee. So I'm going to be talking uh, to you a little bit about that and then what we have planned for 2022 uh, travel wise. So. Uh, if this is of no interest to you uh, whatsoever and uh, you want to be just kind of surprised whenever you look at our videos as to where we are and where we're going, great. Just it, it, just turn the thing off right now and don't waste your valuable time on this. Uh, but uh, if you do care, here we go. All right, so as you know, we moved about six weeks ago to a, a new house in East Tennessee, and so far, uh, it's been uh, it's been a wonderful time. People here are very friendly. There, it's a rural uh, setting. It's uh, much much different than uh, other places that we have lived, and uh, and and we really enjoy it. Uh, we're learning the the local. Uh, uh, Colloquial, colloquialisms and uh, kind of the different accent that we haven't been used to. And so that's, uh, that's very interesting. However, anytime, whether you're in East Tennessee or wherever you are, uh, moving into a new place is, oh, man, it just never ends. It, it, it is really an ordeal. Um, I know, first world problem. But, uh, you know, contractors are coming and going and the painter has to become again because oh, they didn't paint it right the first time. And, you know, we order furniture. Oh, that chair, that doesn't fit here right. We send that back. Got to get something else. Oh, patio furniture. Oh, when does that come? Well, it's going to be six weeks. It just it just goes on and on and on. And it um, thereby kind of prevents us from doing what we really like to do, which is hitting the road. So anyway, that's uh, soon that will be over. and. Uh, we'll just be right back to it. And, and one of the reasons that it becomes a little bit frustrating is that both Tanya and I suffer from a condition known as dromomania. Dromomania. So if you have never heard of that condition, it is a psychiatric uh, diagnosis where the primary symptom is an uncontrollable urge to wander or to travel. And uh, there's even uh, been a study published about the, a, a genetic uh, variant, the DRD4-7R uh, gene that uh, can be related to a greater likelihood of people who have this uh, seeking uh, novelty uh, in their behavior, impulsivity and adventurousness and want to uh, get out there and see things. Now, Tanya and I uh, don't know whether we have this uh, uh, genetic, this, uh, this genetic conditions where we have this gene, but uh, we like to convince ourselves that we do. So, um, so much for that. So we, we just, pretty soon, we're gonna have to really get out there and, uh, uh, and uh, take care of this. Now, in terms of uh, talking to our viewers about the kind of uh, art, our situation is a little bit different than most of the retired traveler channels that, that we've seen. Most of these channels are people that have, uh, they're done by people that have uh, recently retired. Uh, they are generally in their maybe late 50s uh, to mid 60s and uh, there's kind of a pattern that they've sold everything, they you know, retired from their work, they sold their house, they sold their cars, they got rid of everything, and they're gonna travel the world for the next 10 years. And that is, uh, that's, that's terrific, that, that, that's wonderful. The thing is, we kind of did a lot of that about 15 years ago. Uh, you know, we did, we sold our house, we sold our car, we moved with two suitcases to, to live in Asia for four years. And so we did that. And then we moved to Europe for seven years. And then we moved down to, you know, Las Vegas. So anyway, we, 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 we've done uh, kind of that getting rid of everything. And now we've been to, between the two of us, about 123, 125 countries. So um, for one thing, we don't really have that same uh, well, we always have a sense of wonder, but uh, it's it's not like everything is brand new to us. And things that you know people might consider to be a uh, you know a disaster or a real challenge. Well, I don't know. We just sort of you know deal with that because that's that's what happens. But anyway, we get to these things where uh, we follow our own advice, 
uh, in terms of travel planning, where you know you're planning, you know, you know the variables are you know the time, money, and the destination. Well, okay, for 2022, we pretty much know how much money we have to travel. We know how much time we're going to have. Then we get down to the destination. Well, okay, that's always the problem, isn't it? Uh, do we go back to uh, places that we have really enjoyed? Uh, do we try to? fill in the blanks, check off some of the boxes of uh, European countries, for example, uh, you know, places that we have not been to. There are probably, I think, maybe eight or nine um, European countries that we have never been to. You know, never been to Andorra, never been to uh, San Marino, never been to Belarus. Belarus, I don't know if I'd go to this week, but anyway, uh, you know, there's some countries like that. There are probably 10 U.S. states that we haven't been to. So do we start doing that? Do we spend our time traveling to go visit friends? Do we, you know, it's all these different things. But um, we do know, however, that uh, there, there are some great stories to be had out there. There's humor in anything, and by God, we're going to find it. We have never been uh, the kind of people that plan our trips a year in advance. And that's, I thought I could do that for 2022, but it, it's hopeless. You know, some people who do that, I just, I really admire them. They know that in July they're going to be here, and then in August they're going to be there, and then at Christmas they're going to be there. And I just, we, we can't do that. You know, like like the, the longest we ever seem to be able to plan ahead is maybe three months. And uh, it, because there are so many things that, that catch our interest and uh, situations are always changing, we go, oh, yeah, that'd be a cool place to go. Oh, look, there's a great flight that goes there. Let's, let's hit that. So anyway, that's, uh, we, we don't have a year long plan. What we do have is a plan for the next three months. So let's share that with you a little bit and, and uh, so you know what, what you could be looking forward to, hopefully. Um, in March, we are, uh, next month, we're gonna go to Boston. Uh, we're gonna fly to Boston and then we're going to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Who goes there? I don't know. You know, it, why are you going there? Well, we've never been there. And uh, we're going to check it out. Uh, looks like a nice little town. It's on the water. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. And then we're going to spend a few days in Boston. And uh, we've both been there. But, you know, have some chowder and, you know, see some places that we might not have seen. In uh, May, we're going to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival in New Orleans. Uh, that will be a great time. We've always wanted to do that. So I'm going to... Uh, check that off our bucket list, uh, as they say. And then uh, toward the end of May, we're going to go down to Mexico for a while, visit uh, relatives and, uh, it, you know, enjoy the little bit nicer weather there. And from then on, we're not quite sure. But wherever we go, uh, you can be sure that we're going to find some interesting things, uh, some, uh, some humor, uh, some good stories, and uh, that's what we look forward to bringing you. So, um, we hope you continue to, to watch our channel when you get a chance and uh, wish you all a, a very uh, happy and healthy week. Bye-bye.